Hello there and welcome back to my workshop. This is episode eight of my series on the chest of drawers and I've made a lot of progress here. So let's get started. The original plan was actually to glue up one of these top drawers at the beginning of this show. But what we're actually going to do is glue up the first of one of the middle drawers. And here are the parts here. I got this sewn up last night. I prefer to glue things together pretty soon after I've cut them out because wood moves. And uh, I was a little bit afraid that the fit would not be the same if I waited too long before I glued these up. So this is all glued up and ready to go. Also, uh, we talked about mystery dados. And here they are. See them here. Now let's see what they're all about. Come over here. And you can see my drawers in place. This one has a knob. This is the knob that I picked out for that drawer, by the way. And each of these drawers is going to have a drawer stop that prevents the drawer from coming all the way out. Now, I haven't put the stops in yet, but you can see how it's going to work. And these stops will be removable. You'll be able to unscrew the stop, and then you'll be able to pull the drawer out all the way, and that will reveal the secret hiding place. There it is. It's got a false back and it slides into the dados like that, creating a secret hiding place. When I was a kid, I was just crazy about secret hiding places and hiding things away. So no surprise there, I guess, that as an adult, I started putting secret stashes in my furniture as well. So, uh, and I, uh, I'm sure this piece of furniture is going to outlast me. And uh, I'm hoping that the new owners will uh, discover these and have some fun with them as well. So there they are. Um, if I don't need any hiding places and I don't right now, I can always pull this out and leave it in the drawer. And then I've got more space inside my drawers, so to speak. Okay. And the bottom is here. This is quarter inch. It's uh, edge joined, two boards edge joined, and it just slides in place like that. And uh, I'll be making more of these, so I'll show you how to make those later on. And uh, there we go. So we're making some progress here. And uh, what we're going to do now is take a short break. I'm going to get things together here, and we're going to come back and glue this up. Okay, we are back and I've got my clamps here. I've got my parts arranged. My glue warmed up a little bit and we have a plan of action. So let's get started. How many times have we been here, you and me? <laughs> We've been through a lot of these glue ups. Okay, glasses. All right. And here we go. Good.
Okay. I'll take it. We let that uh, dry overnight, and then what we're going to do is plane the sides flush with the front and back, and then we're going to fit it into our case over here. So see you in another 24 hours. And it's been overnight, it's dry, it's good and square, and I'm very happy actually with my half-blind dovetails. I did a pretty good job of sawing. I must be getting a little bit better, but I don't see any gaps in there, and that's, uh, that's a good thing. So now what we're going to do is plane these sides flush. They're intentionally a little bit proud of the pins, but we're going to uh, plane them flush. And I've got my setup here, so let's get going. Um, clamp it first. That should do it there. This is where grain direction is very important. Uh, the grain on these sides is going out this way from front to back, and that allows me to plane in this direction. Less likely I'm going to have spelching or any chipping on the front of my drawer. So if we're ready, let's go. Going slowly here, I've got a ways to go. It's feeling pretty good in that direction. And I'm just going to take a little off the back now, coming against the grain. Okay, let's go with that and do the other side. Okay. Let's give that a try. Ah, pretty good. A little bit snug there, but uh, that's fine. I will fine tune that for sure, but I'm kind of happy with that. Few more passes of the plane and we'll be in good shape there. So happy about that. Now let's move on to the uh, glue up of the bottom panel. That's something you haven't seen I don't think. You're wrapped around there. You better? Okay. <laughs> so let's clear the decks here and get started on that. out of the way. Something like that. 
And here are my three pieces. It's going to be a glue up of three boards like this, edge glued together. So um, that's the idea. And uh, we'll just glue those up rather quickly here. Getting out of breath. Okay. I could use spring clamps to pinch these ends together, but I like to use my fingers for this. These dowel rods just keep uh, the uh, clamp off the glue surface and make it a little bit easier to keep the squeeze out under control, if that makes any sense. Okay, Whew. there you have it. Now we're gonna let this dry overnight as usual and uh, we'll uh, take it from there. So see you in a bit. Okay, we're out of the clamps and it's dry and it's looking pretty good. Not much squeeze out actually because I'm very careful during the glue up to wipe that off with a rag. And also you may have noticed uh, when I clamp this up, I was careful about aligning these edges so that you don't have any ridges along the glue line here because of unevenness. Now you always get a little bit of that, but that's what we're going to clean up right now with my uh, card scraper. Actually it's a cabinet scraper and it's kind of like a card scraper, but it has two handles and it has a thumb screw here to put a flex on the scraper. And here's the sole here. Now you don't have the same amount of finesse that you do with a regular card scraper because you can't flex it as you go and you can't vary the angle as you're scraping. But for edge joints like this, it works fast and it works very well. So if we're ready, let's give it a try here. Okay.
a little more bend there. That feels pretty good there. That's good there. Now this is the inside bottom of the drawer. This is the underside of the drawer. And you're not going to really see this or feel this, but uh, I'm just going to clean that up a little bit anyway. Okay, that's just right. I like that. Now, a, uh, a regular hand plane would not be the tool to use for this or wouldn't work as well because it has a much longer sole. And what happens is it bridges across the contours of the surface and I'd have to remove a lot more material. It would be flatter than it needs to be and thinner than I want it to be. So this smaller sole allows me to get in and follow those contours as we go. This just doesn't need to be that flat. It just needs to be smooth and be nice to feel. So uh, we're good there. We're all set. What I'm going to do next on my own time is put this into the drawer over here. I'm also going to make the second of the two middle drawers. And what that means is we can now move on to making the bottom drawer. And that's going to be a lot of fun. That's the last drawer that we have to make. So uh, I'll be showing you some of the highlights of making that drawer. You've already seen the whole process. So uh, let's have a look.
and the bottom drawer is finished. Here it is. And that means all of the dovetails are done. I certainly have been getting a lot of practice, but it is very tedious. And I've got the, uh, the bottom here. We'll put that on for you real quick. This bottom is three boards, half inch stock, and they're edge joined together. And then uh, what I have here is a rabbit that goes along both ends and along the front. And I use the very same technique to put these rabbits on that I used when I made the panels over here. So click on the link below and you can see in more detail exactly how I did that. So let's put this together. There we go. Now I have to trim off a little on the back here and put a screw in place to hold the bottom in position. But that's that and let's uh, flip it over here. There we go. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, why don't we put all these drawers in the case and have a look? Okay, let's do that. Come around. That one. There's that one. Finally, the bottom, oh boy. There you go. What do you think? It's nice. I really like this part of a project when it comes together and you can see what it's going to look like when it's finished. So I think that came out looking really neat. Um, I think I mentioned in one of the earlier shows that this is actually, these five drawers here are actually cut from the same board. So the, the horizontal grain runs continuously from drawer to drawer this way. And also the tiger stripes run vertically in line with the upper drawer and the bottom drawer here. And then the lowest drawer is uh, just a piece I picked out that I thought would match. So uh, small detail, but uh, to me it's all about the details. So that's as far as we're going to go this time. Uh, when we come back, we're going to work on the top. That's going to be Tiger Maple as well. It's going to be two boards edge joined together, so I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Uh, and then we'll take it from there. So I hope you're enjoying these shows. We certainly enjoy putting them together and sharing them with you. And we certainly enjoy uh, getting your comments and making new friends. So uh, keep them coming. Thanks for stopping by and see you next time. Wasn't that great?